All right, if I've convinced you to use TweetDeck to organize your Twitter experience, let's jump into the tool and get things set up. So I've already gone to tweetdeck.twitter.com and logged in with my Twitter username and password that I've already set up. Once I do that, I'm brought to a screen that looks like this. There might be one more column on the far right called trending. You can get rid of that column by clicking the button in the top right hand corner and selecting remove. First thing I'd like to do would be to add some additional columns of hashtags and search terms. On the far left, I'll click the search button, also noted by a magnifying glass. And then I'll first search by hashtag. How about hashtag hybrid teacher PD? I happen to know that's an active hashtag amongst my colleagues. So some tweets have populated. Anytime those teachers across the planet have used that hashtag, it will populate in this column. So I'll do another one, hashtag global GEG and hit enter. And let's do one more that's not a hashtag. How about just Platteville, Wisconsin? Let's see what I get. Okay, so now I've received lots of information, lots of potential people to follow and tweets to read. Uh, let's just say that I'm interested in what Laura has to say and I'm thinking that I might like to follow her. I'll click her name, read her tweets, and if I like them, if I align with that and want to continue reading what she has to say, I'll come back, click her name, then select follow. And now what will happen is that anytime she, she tweets, they'll show up under home. Same thing, I'll do it again with Abbott. Uh, read his tweets. If I like what he has to say, I can follow him. And again, their tweets will start populating under the home column every time they tweet or retweet. So what if you want to respond back to someone? I encourage you to engage in conversation with teachers on Twitter. They want that. They want, even though you might think I'm an undergraduate, I'm not actually a teacher yet, we all can learn from your experience as a student in the classroom and the energy that you bring to the profession even before you graduate. So if you want to reply back to Laura, you can click the speech bubble and respond back to her. But note that you're responding back to all of the handles that she referenced in her tweet. If for some reason you didn't want to do that, you would just need to click those handles and uncheck them. But to be honest, part of the richness in Twitter is to engage in conversation with all parties involved. So don't be afraid to leave those handles on that tweet. So then you can engage in conversation and ask Laura a question or give her a comment in reply to something she tweeted, but just make sure that you include the hashtag she referenced. That way, additional people can also join in in the conversation. Now, if you want to retweet something that someone had said, that means you're taking their tweet and sending it out to the people you follow. So I could take Stephanie's tweet and click the retweet button. And then I can add a comment on top of her tweet or just retweet the comment. Then what I have done is taken Stephanie's tweet and sent it out to anyone who follows me. All right, so the only last thing I wanna mention for you would be to not tweet when you are angry. Uh, tweets can become a viral sensation, as you already know, and you never know who is going to see what you write, especially when people use searches, because tweets from all across the world can populate in those searches. If you have any questions on how to use TweetDeck, let me know. I absolutely love the tool. Good luck.